Hello. So, I recently did a video on the Washington Wizards and how I think they should build for the future. Today I wanted to do an episode on the Los Angeles Lakers. I don't think they're going to compete for a title this year, so I wanted to go through the team, player by player, and decide who should stay and who should go. Let's go ahead and get started. First player, Carmelo Anthony. Carmelo Anthony has been really good for the Lakers this year. Um, he's shot a really good percentage from the field, he shot a really good percentage from three, he's been a really good teammate. I think Carmelo Anthony should stay with the team. Trevor Ariza. Trevor Ariza, I don't know why the Lakers signed him. I wasn't a fan of it when it happened. He hasn't played all that well this year anyways, especially like when you look at his numbers, 34% and 30% from three. I think Trevor Ariza should go. DJ Augustine. He's another old veteran player. He hasn't played especially well for them. You look at his numbers, he's shooting good from three, but he's only mediocre from the field. I think you can find better point guards out there or combo guards. I would get rid of DJ Augustine for the future. Kent Bazemore. This is another player. He's starting to get there in age. I understand why they brought him in. He's only been good from three point shooting. His defense has been bad, but it's always been bad. I think Kent Bazemore should go. Avery Bradley, I like Avery Bradley. I've always been a fan of him. He's not a great mid-range shooter, but he does shoot the three well. He does give you defense. I think Avery Bradley is one of the few people that probably should stay on this team for the future. Anthony Davis, this is a no-brainer. As long as he's healthy, he's one of the best players in the league. If you're trying to build a championship team, and Anthony Davis is healthy, you definitely want him. Anthony Davis should definitely stay. Even if his three point shooting is low, it was also low last year. You'd like it to get back up into the 30% like it is for majority of his career. But no matter what, Anthony Davis should stay. Wayne Ellington, he's primarily a three point shooter. He can't create off the dribble that much. He doesn't do much else in terms of rebounds or assists. He's primarily a spot up shooter. But he does do good in that role though. He shoots 39%. I think you have to have one of those guys. It's always good to have a veteran presence. I'll actually say uh, Wayne Ellington should stay. Horton Tucker. I've never been a big fan of Horton Tucker. They were trying to trade him during the trade deadline. No one was biting. I just don't really see what the big deal about him is. I've watched him play a bunch and he just doesn't really do anything for me and he's not a three-point threat. I mean, I get he has great size, great length, but I just think there's better options out there. I get that he's still young and he could still improve, but if there is any kind of trade assets that you have on the team, he's one of them, so I think he should go. Dwight Howard. I've always been a fan of Dwight Howard in the role that he's been doing the last few years. Coming off the bench, being a reserve big, spot time starter if someone gets hurt. I think if you're gonna keep a big guy around, you could do worse than Dwight Howard. So I would keep Dwight Howard around. Bron James, this is a no brainer. To me, he's the best basketball player ever. I would keep LeBron James. <laughs> it's silly to even have to say that, but LeBron James should definitely stay on the team. Stanley Johnson, he's come on strong. He's been good for them. He actually is still kind of young, which is crazy. Because you look at him, he's just, it looks like he's been in the league forever. But Stanley Johnson, I just think he's come on strong. And I'm not sure he can sustain that over the course of a whole year. There's a reason that many teams have had him and gotten rid of him. I think if you're trying to build a team for next year or the year after, try to win another championship with LeBron James, I think Stanley Johnson can go. Malik Monk. Malik Monk's been a really big surprise. I had no idea that he could shoot the three like this. Um, I didn't watch a ton of his games last year in Charlotte, so I probably should have seen this coming. But I think he's been one of the few bright spots for this team. So if you're building for next year and the year after, yeah, keep Malik Monk. Kendrick Nunn, we don't know about yet. He hasn't played any games as of this recording, but he's still a young guard. Um, he's always put up pretty solid numbers. 
as far as field goal percentage from the two and the three. Um, he is a bit of a black hole on offense. He primarily looks to score instead of pass. But I think if you're trying to build a team for next year and the year after, yeah, keep Kendrick Nunn. I'm okay with that. Austin Reeves, this has been a surprise. Like I said, there's only been a few surprises on the team. Um, Austin Reeves is one of those. Um, basically, you have Austin Reeves, Malik Monk, and Carmelo Anthony. Those are the like, positives on the team. Um, he's a good young player. Um, he's only going to get better. I can see him being a Alex Caruso type in the future, where he's kind of a fan favorite. He comes in, he hustles, he plays good defense, he can hit a few shots. Yeah, keep Austin Reeves around for the future. Russell Westbrook, one of the 75 best players of all time, but not this year. This year, he is probably one of the worst players in the whole league which is really sad. Um, I'm a Wizards fan and he was the heart and soul of our team last year. He actually played really well last year down the stretch. This year, it's just, it's gone. It's out the window for Russell Westbrook. If you're building for next year or the year after, Russell Westbrook has to go. Now, will someone take him and his big contract? Um, this offseason will actually be an expiring deal. So maybe you can offload him on someone. If you can get rid of him, I would get rid of him. I think Russell Westbrook goes. Gabriel, no idea who this guy is. I have all the games I've watched with the Lakers. I've never seen him. I don't know anything about him. He can go. Mason Jones, same thing. All the games I've watched with the Lakers. He's only played two games. I've never seen him. He can go. So. That's what I think as far as the Lakers team, who should stay, who should go. Tell me what you think. Please comment, like, share, subscribe for future videos. Bye everyone.